oh, we got this one in it. This is funny. This is hilarious. This is courtesy of Deaf Noodles, my number one go to source for all influencer related news of people who I didn't know about prior and now I know everything about because I'm spending way more time on my phone than I would like because we're living in a lockdown. <laughs> so this is courtesy of Deaf Noodles. It says, Instant regret. Charlie D'Amelio sees here for Charlie and assumes it's for her. Um, it's actually Charlie XCX. Fans are tweeting support of X Charlie TX, who's mourning the passing of her friend, the great, the influential, the innovative Sophie. So I guess over the last couple of days, and for the unfortunate news of Sophie pioneering pop act, um, passed away. And then I guess a lot of people were basically um showing their support and then they kind of remembered, oh shit, Charlie XCX is one of her close friends and hasn't shared anything on social media. And, let's say 24 hours 48 hours whatever it may be so people are worried and thinking oh she must be really going through it because she's spoken so glowingly of her admiration of sophie and how much she meant to means to her and how much impact she had on her career bloody blah, blah 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 so people were you know doing what nice decent people do and basically you know putting out a hashtag and saying hey if you see this charlie we're here for you we've got us in your thoughts uh stay strong and for some reason, Charlie Emilio, who I guess is going through her own, again, the only reason why I know these people because of social, because I'm stuck indoors, don't judge me. But basically, Charlie Emilio is one of the most followed or the number one followed person on TikTok. She's one of the girls that does all the little dances and shit with the, uh, the brunette with the little cherub cheeks. She's been going through a little bit of a scandal here and there, as you go, as you do when you're that age and you're just, you know, filthy rich with all the access in the world. You're bound to make some mistakes. But she constantly seems to be in the news for all the wrong things you'd think, quote unquote. So it's within reason that she saw the hashtag and thought, you know what, that's for me. But the funny thing is that once you click the hashtag, it doesn't take long. It maybe takes a couple of reads. I think on the actual um on the uh on the actual on the actual yeah, on the actual hashtag itself, maybe apart from because there's always a I think on Twitter there's always a there's like a weird community of stan accounts that exist right i'm not sure if they're all bots or if they're all managed by people but these accounts that basically uh purposely try to alter the algorithms to get certain bits of news out and get their tweet of the person that they love followed just a strange weird world but once you sift through all the bots that are basically using as opportunity to um cap for d'amelio sister um it's pretty easy to see that it's an xcxc quote it's an xcxc um support hashtag and not for the media so um it's just funny that she didn't read it at all and she probably did what 99 percent of us do when we're looking at news on our instagram feed or to social media feed we just look at the headlines which is why it's just funny because a lot of people complain about clickbait headlines and say oh man they are journalists are good out there painting the wrong picture of people duh, 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 duh. But the truth is we don't actually read the articles because these platforms know these media companies know they have all the analytics and they know people don't go further than maybe the opening two paragraphs of any article so they try and get as much information as they can at the top just think of the daily mail right all the flipping information is essentially in the title and they summarize it within the bullet points underneath the actual headline itself so it's basically irrelevant to read the article itself so um that, that's that's the case but it's just funny that if she just would have read it she would have known instantly it wasn't about her so this is it and I guess um, someone at Twitter was being a bit shady and decided to write this summary under the actual trend and says fans are clearly, uh, fans clarified that the Here for Charlie hashtag was meant for XCX uh, after the death of her friend and fellow artist Sophie, not Charlie Emilio. And then the next page, it's got here. I'm looking through these Here for Charlie hashtags. And oh my good, that's, that's her response, right? I'm looking through it. Oh my goodness, you're all so sweet to me. I have no idea how much your kind words warm my heart. I'm so lucky to have you all by my side. I love you, babe which is an odd thing to say in it in social in general this whole love and you guys are supporting like it's just strange because the relationship is pretty one way right you don't really give a crap about your fans really right in that way especially these people right it's not really a it's not like a relationship like an artist in music would have with their fan base right where there is maybe a closer tie akin because of the words that you say in your songs and when you release your stuff this is just you doing dances that aren't really dances in front of a camera um on a very specific platform for a very specific group of people so it's very strange that whole lovey-dovey thing with fans anyway and that side of things but regardless um someone replied to her said that 
Anyways, RIP to Sophie, an incredibly talented trans woman and a friend of Charlie XCX, who the hashtag was actually about, who you will you will forever be missed. Of course, we always are going to repeat that. And then someone said here, who's going to tell Charlie? We mean Charlie XCX. <laughs> it's just incredibly embarrassing, right? Situation to be involved in. I think someone else here, more people clarifying tweets here saying they here for charlie was for xcx um sge is grieving over a friend she lost charlie d'amelio risked the lives of many people by going to bahamas stop being insensitive duncan's um and it continues her fans are very weird for playing along instead of informing her that the hashtag was for charlie xx but again it's not much of an informing all she had to do is read a couple more tweets she just couldn't be bothered to do it she was maybe too busy dancing, I guess, isn't it? Another one said her stands need to stop. The hashtag was meant for XEX and who is mourning the death of Sophie. Um, but again, it should be embarrassing, right? This should be highly embarrassing, but we live in a post-embarrassment world. We live in a post-shame world. It doesn't exist. Shame is essentially currency. Shame is an opportunity to boost your signal, to amplify your voice. No one has any shame anymore. So normal person would feel utterly embarrassed by this and will probably hide the hide under their duvet for a couple of days before coming out and, you know, with their tail in between their legs and offering a groveling apology or clarifying that they didn't know what happened and they didn't do it on purpose or whatever. Explain the situation away. But in this case you don't. You just pretend it didn't happen. You continue on because shame does not exist.